Hey guys, it's Erin and Joe. Um, usually we're covering, you know, kind of like lighthearted things, but today is not one of those cases. We are covering something that's very serious and happening right in our backyard. It couldn't be closer. Very um, close. Yeah. So we live in Fountain, Colorado, which is southeast of Colorado Springs. And since Monday, there has been a child missing. Um, and the neighborhood that he's missing from is like a 10 minute drive from our house. It really um, has kind of just like gotten our attention and the attention of everybody in the community. So um, his name is Gannon Stotch. He's 11 years old. Uh, he's a fifth grader at Grand Mountain Elementary. And he was reported missing, well, he was reported as a runaway initially on Monday. Um, and the last known like sighting of him was Monday afternoon in his neighborhood. So he didn't go to school on Monday. He wasn't at Grand Mountain Elementary on Monday. Um, and the person who saw him last, I guess, was his stepmother, um, and she saw him in the area where they lived. He left to go play at a friend's house, and he has not been seen since. So initially, um, he's only 11. He's four foot nine, um, and he weighs 90 pounds. He's just he's just a little kid, you know. It's it really is like really heavy. So I just want to stop here and say, um, if anybody has any information, you're supposed to contact the El Paso County Sheriff. Their phone number is 719-390-5555. Um, anything that you have that you think that could help, um, will definitely aid in the investigation, but rumors and speculation and, um, basically like false things that are being spread on social media are not helpful. So if you have anything or uh, any information or you want to help, get in contact with the El Paso County Sheriff. So as I mentioned, he was last seen Monday between three and four going to play at a friend's house. So this was Monday, January 27th. Um, there's an area called Lorson Ranch and it's kind of a new like developing subdivision um, and he was last seen in the 6,000 block of Mandan Avenue in the Lorson Ranch area of Colorado Springs. We live very close to the area and um, we drove around a bit um, just to see like what search efforts were happening or like if we could help in any way um, and there is a lot of undeveloped land in that area like vast yeah. amounts of undeveloped land, but you and can a lot tell, of construction like going on in that area. Yeah. And a lot of construction, just a lot of open area, but you can tell there's been a lot of like foot traffic in the area and even like ATVs ridden around. So, um, we're kind of late on the scene as far as the search efforts go. And, um, we visited the neighborhood today and they had like a little table set out for people who were there helping and searching. Um, and we tried to, you know, um, get a comment from someone, but understandably so, they were not comfortable talking. And I guess the sheriff has advised everyone to just kind of stay away from speaking to anyone. Um, and they have directed all media and press inquiries to the public relations manager um, of el paso county so it was the el paso county sheriff's um public public relations department who is kind of like scanning everything and making sure um nothing inappropriate is being reported or getting out there so joseph and i are both wearing blue um that's what the community is doing the community is coming together um Blue and lights, blue yeah. ribbons. Blue lights, blue ribbons. I have my blue hoodie on. Um, and blue, I guess, is Gannon's favorite color. And it was what he was last seen wearing. Um, it's really sad because he's just so tiny. And, like, we were driving around today and just talking about it. And it's like, he is somewhere. Like, he is somewhere. Yeah. And the whole community is coming out to find him. But so the community held a prayer vigil at Restoration Church, which is relatively close to his community where he, you know, disappeared from. Um, 
so Restoration Church is the considered like the command center. So if you live in the area, if you want to help, um, I suppose, you know, people are congregating at the Restoration Church. So you could check that out. Um, wear blue. Keep an eye out. If you see something, say something. Call El Paso County Sheriff, 719-390-5555. It's an easy number. So the reason he was initially um, thought to be a runaway is because he, there was a search in his phone. His phone was left at the, at his home though. So there was a search on his phone that said, can my parents find me if I run away or if, if I shut my phone off, can my parents find me if I turn my phone off? And I, I think the answer that Google would be yes. So, you know, if you're a kid who's trying to run away, I'd imagine you'd leave your phone at home. But again, that's, speculation which really isn't what we want to be doing right now yeah just if you have any like real evidence or like find or see call the el paso county sheriff Mm -hmm. and let them know um so he quickly it quickly escalated from a runaway situation to people being concerned just due to the cold weather i think monday night it was the night that it was supposed to snow and we were getting warnings and it was kind of like misty and cold um, and it gets cold here. Like, I mean, not crazy cold, but enough cold to enough be the, uncomfortable like, and not. We left like a water in the car and it froze like overnight. So yeah. that cold. So, um, this is really just kind of, um, caused us to take like a step back and, uh, just kind of like, uh, we want to help like in any way that we can. So we want to help, like, as much as we can. Uh, but it's just, like, we don't we don't really know what to do. So that's kind of why we're yeah. doing this video. This is where we want to start. So, again, this happened in Colorado Springs, Colorado. Um, and we live very, very near to that. That's basically, like, the closest, like, town. That's where we go to, like, do everything that we want to do. Um, so, yeah. So the, the cold weather and the daily medication were the reason why it escalated to rather than just him being a runaway, people being concerned that he was missing. What um, kind of medication did he take? Did you know? I'm not sure, and I don't really, but um, there were reports that it was for, like, ADHD or ADD, like, something like that. Um, so, yeah, he's missing his medication. It's cold outside. There's so many, there's so much speculation you could do, but... It's not helpful. And his mother and father are very grateful to the community. But however, as I mentioned, the false reports are not helpful. And parents and police um, think that now he's not just run away, that he could be in danger. So they're asking any information you have to contact the El Paso County Sheriff. Um, And I don't know, like, I think it's pretty standard because there's an investigation going on. But police have advised... Um, pretty much anyone like close to the case right now to not speak to anyone about it and all media relations are being filtered through El Paso County Sheriff's media relation but at this point um, the FBI are involved uh, and there's been no formal searches led by the police like no official searches there's been plenty of community searches and everyone when we drove through his neighborhood today everyone was there's plenty of people out there wearing blue and putting ribbons up we put ribbons up outside of our house um and it really is just a strange um situation and we're really hoping and like praying that everything's gonna turn out good for the family and that um gannon's gonna be home safe right Hopefully by putting this out there, somebody will see it and see him and contact somebody. Yeah, that's all That's all we want is to kind of like help. And um, from all reports, Gannon's like a sweet, loving boy. He's only 11 years old. He's a fifth grader. Like, it's just hard to imagine because like I've worked in schools and I've worked with kids in the past. And I, I just, I don't know. I don't know what the family could be feeling right now but i'm not i'm not even close in any way and it's like really affecting me you know so Mm -hmm. and the whole community is just kind of in shock about it i feel like like kind of like surprised and in denial at first and now that everyone's realizing 
how serious it is and um, the different things that could be going on. It's pretty scary. So the police are going to be doing a press conference later today, very soon, actually, um, the El Paso County Sheriff. So hopefully we'll have more information. But in the meantime, just keep your eye out if you see something weird or uh, like if you just remember something maybe that might even be insignificant, but like, hey, I saw this kid and, you know. <laughs> no false reports. Yeah. If you see, think something. Yeah. Contact the El Paso County Sheriff's yeah. office. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, again, if you want to get involved, the Restoration Church is kind of like the command center. Wear blue. Share it on social media. Um, and we'll try to find out to see if they're doing any other like searches or anything for him that you could get like involved with. Yeah, and exactly. We've been trying to figure out if there's any like official searches going on, um, how the community can help. It's complicated because a lot of those places are private property, like the big open spaces. So it's just um, it's just hard to know like where to even begin. And obviously like that's the police's job and the El Paso County Sheriff is doing a good job of, you know, investigating all their leads and stuff. But um, community help is definitely always appreciated as long as it's valid and going through the right channels. So again, this video has been about Gannon Stotch. He's an 11 year old fifth grader missing from the Colorado Springs area. If you have any information, contact the El Paso County Sheriff's Department, 719-390-5555. Search them on Facebook. Um, you can see pictures of Gannon. There's flyers available. We'll put links to um, the El Paso County Sheriff's Office in the description of this video. Um, so yeah, so definitely, this is definitely uh, the truth is out there moment for us, like a big deep one. So we're just gonna take a step back from the usual and um, keep just keep you guys up to date on this so truth is out there my friends thanks for watching